Hello and welcome to another installment of the Nixon Notebook. Today, we'll be looking at some of the performance monitoring capabilities of the Nixon NetVCR. Let's say we've been getting reports from customers of a poor web experience. We can easily investigate using out-of-box reports available with NetVCR. Let's go ahead and load up the performance summary report. Performance summary is a group of commonly used performance monitoring reports. Let's begin our investigation from the server's perspective. We can go to server performance to start off our investigation by searching for the top servers tile to jump to it easily. The first step is to compare the network time to the response time. We can click right on the network time to sort from highest to lowest. We can see that the highest network time was close to the average network time for the time period, so this is likely not a network issue. However, looking at the sorted response time, we can see that the highest value is much greater than the average, and that this caused the average to go up as well. Let's drill on the slowest server in the table. This will filter and re-render the report now focused on the slowest server. Now we can take a look at the top applications tile to see which applications are specifically causing problems. We can see here that HTTP has a much higher average response time than the rest of the applications for that server. Let's go down to TCP connections in the conversation section to dig deeper into this issue. We can see from TCP connections that the connection between our finance server and a client has an unusually high response time. Let's pivot to the bounce diagram to see the root cause of this low server connection. The bounce diagram is a visual display of packet flow. Here we can see that the header packets all arrive within a span of 100 milliseconds. This indicates that the network is not the cause of the issue. However, when we filter by HTTP, we can see the difference between the HTTP request and response packet is nearly 300 seconds. So we can conclude that the web server is responding very slowly to the HTTP requests. Now we can forward a summary of our investigation and the packet data to the relevant web development team for remediation. With the performance summary group report, We've been able to do an investigation without ever leaving this page. Now let's take a look at how we could do this analysis proactively through the use of net SLM alarms that have been configured on the Nixon unit. We can go to our events report and see various alarms that have been triggered. These alarms can report for various failure conditions, latency and load issues, and more. We've enabled the slow web server alarm, so let's take a look at the event with the highest breach value. We can then drill back to performance summary. Here we'll see that the report is already filtered for us by the slowest server that we discovered earlier. Proactive alarms allow us to significantly cut down on MTTR. Now we can jump directly to TCP connections. We can now pivot to the bounce diagram. We see the same slow server leg that we saw previously. Nixon's NetVCR is a powerful and scalable network and application monitoring tool that can be easily set up and used. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.